Hello everyone, I am the King of Player 2, whose current upload schedule is about the same to Nintendo Directs. That was a joke. You can laugh. Unless you don't want to laugh. Maybe you're like the one guy in Gravity Falls that like can, can't can laugh or whatever. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what, 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 what you're going through at home. But I want to say I fully support you and there's love coming from me to you. To whoever's out there. Anyway, I'm just here to ramble off about a Pokemon Nuzlocke that I tried. Uh, emphasis on tried. Because this video does not have a happy ending. I'll just tell you that much. Alright, well, let's just get into it. Okay, we, we can stop. My heart will go on now. Guys, we, we can stop. Guys, guys, come on, we have to do the intro, guys. Now, the inspiration to try a Pokemon Nuzlocke was from a video made by Jaden Animations. But before we get into the schematics of what happened during my Pokemon Nuzlocke, let's have Alexa explain what the heck a Nuzlocke is. Hey, hey Alexa, what is a Pokemon Nuzlocke? According to an Amazon customer, a Pokemon Nuzlocke challenge is designed to create a higher level of difficulty in Pokemon games. There are a number of rules, but it primarily involves treating any Pokemon that faints as deceased and cannot be used again. Oh. Th this is what I got myself into. So yeah, when your Pokemon faints in battle, it's gone for good. The Jane video got me really excited for something like this, and yeah, sounds just like a dumb thing I would do. A uh, problem being with uh, trying a Pokemon Nuzlocke is I don't play Pokemon. <laughs> uh, the only Pokemon game I played through till the end was Pokemon Ultra Moon, and uh, some people don't even consider that a Pokemon game. So, without knowing any secrets, tricks, tips, um, even what certain attacks do, I set out to do a Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. Alright, so the game starts with Professor Oak asking you your name, your rival's name, etc, etc. I named my rival Gary. Why did I name him Gary? I don't know, but his name is Gary. Here he is, the infamous hero. The Gary. Just Gary! Yes. <laughs> Just the Gary. Then we sit down, we shrink into our little house, and Oak gives us our starter. And I got Bulb Boy, who is, of course, a Bulbasaur. Then, um, I went over to Route 2, and I caught my very first Pokemon, and the Pokemon for this special, monumental occasion. Just mind-blowing epicness. It, it was a Rattata that I named Remy. So we got a bull boy and a rat who can cook maybe. And we make our way to the first gym with some hiccups here and there. But you know, we made it. And I was terrified to fight Brock, but you, you kind of have to do it in order to go to any other area. So I took a crack at it and apparently grass is effective against rock type. So yeah, it was over and it was done relatively painlessly. We then go across through the moon cave, where, well, before we go into the moon cave, I catch a Spearow named Burb, and Burb is the most precious being on the planet. But then, of course, Burb dies to a Team Rocket grunt later, and, uh, yeah. First Fatality, one of my favorite Pokemon, so that really sucked. We also get a Zubat named Base that I don't really care about, but he's on the team. Anyway, we go to the next city and we see the second gym leader, Misty. I'm terrified to fight Misty. I don't know why, because grass is also effective against water type. But I'm scared, and so I decide to explore around town instead of fighting Misty. 
And apparently your rival wants to battle you again. It's kind of like a thing with him. He likes to fight you. And uh, yeah, needless to say, he ended the run. So yeah, that sums up my experience with my Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. I'm sorry that uh, it didn't finish or go everywhere I wanted it to, um, but I had a blast doing it, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you ever do want to see me finish a Nuzlocke or something like this, um, tell me about it, um, and I want to hear your experiences. What have you done with the Pokemon? And w w what are you planning to do? Um, well, yeah, that that's about it. And thank you for watching. Um, have, have a good day.